Hello my viewer, welcome back to Kate's Crochet and today we are doing an elephant baby face applique. F for elephant. So now to work on this we need yarns of two colors and I have white and black. With this I worked using color gray and white for the eyes so now I replace the gray color with the black one so now to start with uh, uh, working on this we need to make the head first or the face first each part is done separately so we start with the face so now get your yarn I'm using I'm Robin Small and I'm going to use two strands of this. I like uh, working with thick, uh, thicker yarn. So because this is too thin for me, I use two strands like this. So now I make a slip knot. And the other thing that we need is a crochet hook, a needle, and a pair of scissors for cutting the excess yarn. So now we uh, to start making the face, we make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And we slip stitch on the first chain to make that small ring. And now we are going to be crocheting inside this small ring. So first, we need to make a chain of three. And so... This will count as our first double crochet and inside here we are going to make 14 more double crochets so in total we should have 15. So I want to work this excess yarn along here. So as you count, count the first chain of 3 as your first double crochet. So I have two, three, four, five, six. So continue making double crochets inside this small ring until you have 15 double crochets. I have my 15 chains. So I find the the third chain of the first three chain and I slip stitch in that chain. You make a slip stitch there. We have a circle. Now we want to do another row. To make it a bit bigger so now chain three and in the same stitch where there is the chain three make a double crochet we shall be working increases in this row in the following stitch make two double crochets in that stitch In the next stitch you work two double crochets in the same stitch. Continue making two double crochets in the same stitch until you get to the end of this row again. And at the end you should have 30 
double crochets in total. The previous row that we did, we had 15 double crochets and now we are making two double crochets in the same stitch. So we should have 30 double crochets. Continue making this until the end of the row. I've come to the end of this row. So you slip stitch on the third chain of the first chain three of this row. So that is also done. So now we chain one and we cut this yarn because the face is so done. We make some few stitches of hiding the yarn. And now we cut the yarn um, from the wrong side. We don't want this to show on the right side. So here is the wrong side. I cut this yarn. This is how to know your right side. The work, the side that was facing you when you were doing this, that is the right side. So now this is done. We now want to work on the trunk, this part. I said each part is done separately. So now we work on the trunk. Again, we make a slip knot. And we chain 15. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here is the chain of 15. So now we skip the first stitch or chain and in the second we work a single crochet. Work a double crochet in the same stitch. A double crochet. Slip stitch in that same stitch. We make a slip stitch. We work a double crochet in that same stitch. And finally, a single crochet in the same stitch. As you can see, this is divided into two. There is this part and this part, and this is the end or the tip of the trunk. As you can see, it has a space here, and this is what we've just uh, made. So now in the next two stitches, make single crochet. In the next two stitches again, make half double crochet. Two half double crochets in the same stitch. <coughs> in the next three stitches, make two double crochets in same stitch so that is the first one the second one two double crochets in the same stitch and the third one two double crochets in the same stitch In these remaining stitches, make one double crochet to the end. Just one double crochet in every single remaining 
stitches of this chain. Continue making one double crochet till the end of this row. In the last stitch, we work half double crochet, one single crochet in that same stitch, and a slip stitch. And you should realize that now it is curving. It is curved. So now you chain one and cut the yarn. Pull through your yarn and hide it alongside this chain that we did in the beginning. So I hide and I cut the yarn on the wrong side. You can also cut this and now our trunk is done. This will be coming here. You shall be stitching this here. So now the next part to do is the ears. So now to work on the ears, we are making each separately. Make a slip stitch, sorry, make a slip knot and make a chain of three. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the beginning chain or the first chain to make this small ring. Chain three and inside this ring make eight double crochets. In total, you should have nine because of the chain three. So make eight to have nine. So this is the second one, counting the chain three as the first one. Three. For the fourth one, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. nine so now we want to make sure that this is not a complete circle but a semi circle and this is how it should be it should be only on this part but not a complete circle so now we want to work on the next row of this chain two and turn your work and in this same uh, at the base of this chain three, make a double crochet. In the next stitch, work two double crochets in that same stitch. In the next stitch, we work one double crochet. In the next stitch, we work two double crochets. In the next stitch, two double crochets. So the pattern that we are working here is in two stitches, like in the next two stitches, work two double crochets in each. So the next two stitches should have two double crochets 
two double crochets and in the third stitch work one double crochet all right so now we've worked two double crochets in each of these two stitches so in the next we should work one double crochet in the next stitch work two double crochets in the next stitch work two double crochets and in the last stitch which is our chain three work one double crochet and that is the end of this chain one and cut your yarn pull through and hide your yarn Feel free to cut the excess yarn. Cut every excess yarn. And the semicircle is done. And this is one of the years. So using the same same uh, process, work another ear like this one. And meet you when you have all the parts done. So all the parts are done and what is left is for us to stitch them together. As you can see they are separate. So now we want to start with the trunk. Take it and the face and place it almost at this point. You see that smaller circle? You place it almost at the end of that upper row so that at this point the curving starts where the face ends all right so now take your needle and thread the yarn that you used to make this and now start stitching it don't make it too tight we want it uh, not folded so make a few stitches to attach it um, to attach the trunk on the face just some few stitches to ensure that your trunk is so well stitched do the same to this other side you can make uh, use any method to stitch this you can also use glue using the glue gun but i always like it when stitched because it's always neat So now I'm almost done stitching this and actually I'm done. So that is so done and the trunk is attached. Let me show you how it is. This is how it is. So now we want to attach the ears. We are using the same color. So we are not cutting this yarn. We are just moving it a few stitches to that other side. Make sure your trunk, this part, is not twisted. You do not make your ears when the trunk is on the side. Make sure it lies straight 
all right so now come here and make or attach this part which is the ears so attach your ears all around making sure no part is left out My first ear is well attached, not folded, is so well attached. So again, I do not cut the yarn. I just move it on the other side. Make a few stitches here to move it to the other side and again attach your second ear so attach this ear as we attach this one so now all the parts are, are attached together and now what is left is to do the eyes So now you take the other uh, yarn, I'm using white to make the eyes, so now on the sides you stitch a few stitches to make the eyes, just a few. I feel that is enough so we do not cut the yarn we stitch on the back making sure it does not appear on the right side like that and make the other eye And this is also done. So now you finish this by securing the yarn and cut the yarn. And our plique is done. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching this. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you are a new member here, please subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you get notified. Stay here for more of this. Thank you and goodbye for now. Mama.